And when Jesus was being crucified, he said, he was praying. Not praying for himself. He was praying for the people crucifying him. <laughs> Amazing. That God should have mercy on them. God should forgive them. Because they don't know what they are doing. So we don't, love, we don't hate people anymore. We don't hate people. When you hate anybody, you are hating the God that is in that person. When you hate anyone that is made in the image and likeness of God, you are becoming a God hater. You are hating the God that is in them. So if you don't want to be a God fighter, a God enemy, God hater, love people, just love people. So God is saying here, love your neighbor, but not just your neighbor, love your enemies as well. So that's what, you know, this is the difference between what I spoke about yesterday and today. Yesterday was loving people in general, loving, loving your neighbor. But really, it's not enough to love your neighbor. Love your enemies as well. Uh, he said, you've heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies. Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Even those who curse you, bless them. Even those who curse you, bless them. Bless them. Just love them. They are doing evil to you. Even though they are doing evil to you, go ahead and love them. Do good to those who hate you, you see? Even those who hate you, do good to them. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. That you may be sons of your father, father in heaven. For he makes his son to rise on the evil and on the good. And sends rain on the just and on the unjust you see god loves everybody see what he says here this is jesus talking you know not just one of the apostles but jesus 